Hello, Uncle Dave here with uh, another video about your Karma Flight's computer. This one's about the internet. Before we can talk about doing stuff on the web, we need to make sure that we're connected to the internet. So we bring our arrow down over here and it says we're connected. And that's all we care about. So we don't care if it's wired or not wired. We just care that we're connected. So now we can come over and we can see what applications we have available to us through these icons. Well, the bottom four aren't used very much. And so... This one's the one that's used most of the time. I'll spend some time talking about it. And then at the, uh, the end of the video, we'll talk about why you might want to use FileZilla. So let's go ahead and bring up the web browser first. And so... This is what your browser looks like. And uh, there's a second page after the Karma Flights web page, which is uh, access to these videos. And so if you want to look at the introduction, the introductory video again, all you have to do is to right click. Once again, right click telling me what I can do and what I want to do is open this in a new tab that way I don't have to uh, get rid of the contents of this or I could just go ahead and select it and open it up right here and then go back to get to this well, let's do that so I just clicked on it there it is that was the beginning the view first video and uh, if I go back I'm back to here so those are links. Up here is the address line of where we are. So we're inside of dev.blizzardfx. That's my website. And, and uh, that's where this, this particular web page is located. If we want to go to a different location... And maybe what we want to do is start a new tab to go to a different location. So, for instance, if we wanted to go to oh, the Cascade Paragliding Club website, that would bring us to there. Or we can just type it in there, any website that we want. If we don't know where we're going and we want to look for it then we can type it over here now the search here uses a search engine called DuckDuckGo and it does not produce ads so DuckDuckGo will not keep your browser cluttered with unwanted advertisements So let's take a look at how to use this. So let's say that I'm looking for the Karma Flights website, but I can't find it. I forget what it is. So if I just type in Karma Flights, like that, then it's going to deliver me something. And when I look over here, look, the second link down here is to karma flights now if i want to keep this page up just to make sure and go and open this link in another page once again i can right click on it and click this it says open it in a new tab which leaves this stuff on this tab alone but allows me to go and have this and sure enough it is the same page that we had originally opened up. 
Now, if you find some place that you really like, for instance, if you really like this place here, you can go ahead and bookmark it. To bookmark it, all we do is we click this. And we say, OK, fine, done. And now, if we want to, we can go ahead and find this site again by bookmark. How would I do that? Well, if I click this, I can see it because it should be down in Show All Bookmarks. It should show Recent, Recently Bookmarked. Do you see that? There it is right at the top of Recently Bookmarked. OK. And uh, you can put them other places. You can see that, in fact, you could show the bookmarks on the sidebar. You can do all kinds of things. There are many YouTube videos about how to use the browser. Now, let's say that uh, you don't like this green. Well, it's my web page. And so if I want to turn it a different color, I can. So I've brought the uh, web page up. And I brought it up in the writer, the office writer, which we're going to talk about in the next video. And we can see, sure enough, it's green. So if I want to turn it to a different color, then what I have to do is I have to select it. And then over here, this is the font color. I want to select a different font color. And let's make it blue. So now it's blue. And so now what I want to do is I want to save this. So I'm going to save this. And now it's done. Oops. So... When I go back to my browser and I look at it, huh, it didn't change. But that's because I haven't refreshed it. But it doesn't work when I refresh it because I haven't uploaded it. That's where FileZilla comes in. So FileZilla is used to upload files. And so we come over here and I go to the internet and I bring up FileZilla. And the one that it goes to, well, let's see. This is dev.blizzfx. So if I come back to my FileZilla guy, then I can go ahead and select the site manager. And there it is, dev. That's the one that I want right there. And so I go ahead and connect to that website because I have permission. I was given permission. That's what you get when uh, you have authority to do stuff like this. And there it is. So here's the contents of that website. There it is, index.html. And there is my version of it. That's the one that we just saved. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload that. And I'm going to, yeah, I want to overwrite it. And so now, down here, it says that it's getting ready to do. It's transferring it. It's transferring it. We'll see how long it takes to transfer it. Sometimes it takes a long time, but it shouldn't. It's not a very big file. <clears throat> but uh, this is going to put the new version up onto the website. So that when I go back to my browser and I refresh it, like I'm going to do right now, because it's done. And I refresh it. Sure enough, it comes out to be <gasps> blue, we hope. Hurry up. There it is. Sure enough, it's blue. So now we know what FileZilla is used for. We know how to use the web browser. And... We're going to take a look at some of the powerful tools we have for manipulating data in the next video on Office.